on this one. It's just got one word. Shalom. The reason we are organized it is because I think we needed a response. Many people felt pain, many few people felt outrage also, that innocent lives were lost. So we joined together to, to come together as a community, Jews and Muslims and Indians together, to, to show solidarity with each other and to protest the horrible crimes that were committed against them. And say, no, this can't happen. We won't be silent. We won't sit by idly watching one child of God deface and dehumanize. When we learned that Yaakov would stay in his tent and he would learn and Asa would go out, he was a, a warrior. Like the Indian people, the Kabad people were, were strong people, the Jewish people. And when these acts of cowardice and acts of horror happen, we look towards the world and we say, we're not going to take it lying down. Good morning, everybody. I hope, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Our thoughts and our prayers go out to uh, the people of India, uh, the families that have been affected, uh, and obviously we're heartbroken by the deaths of the six Americans uh, that uh, were caught up in this tragedy. Uh, I've spoken to uh, Prime Minister Singh uh, and uh, expressed these concerns to him. Uh, an investigation is taking place. I was briefed by Secretary Rice uh, throughout the weekend. She's on her way to the region. Uh, we've sent FBI uh, to help on the investigation. And uh, I ha th this is one of those times where I have to reiterate, there's one president at a time. Uh, we're going to be engaged in some very delicate diplomacy uh, in the next several days and weeks. Uh, so uh, I think it would be inappropriate for me to comment. but. What I can say unequivocally is that uh, both myself and the team that stands b beside me uh, are absolutely committed to eliminating the threat of terrorism. And that is true wherever it is found. Uh, can exist around the world. So I will be monitoring the situation closely. I think that sovereign nations obviously have a right to protect themselves. Uh, beyond that, I don't want to comment on the specific situation that's taking place in South Asia right now. Uh, I think it is important for us to let the, uh, let the investigators do their jobs and make a determination in terms of who was responsible for carrying out these heinous acts. We're going to be engaged in some very delicate diplomacy that we have to support our troops uh, and make sure that they are properly trained, properly equipped.